Alan Zyber's wife says he lived and breathed motorcycles. So on March 7th, when this lifelong motorcycle expert died in this crash, she says she knew there had to be more to the story. Every day, want to know, you know, did you find anything out? Like, did you hear anything today? Ellen's wife Stephanie is convinced someone witnessed something and hasn't come forward yet. She points to these pictures showing a second pair of tire treads leading to the crash site. There's been hundreds of people up at the crash site. Hundreds of people that leave with more questions than answers. Stephanie thinks there may have been a second driver involved in her husband's crash and that they haven't come forward yet. I feel like I've been a full-time investigator since this has happened. Do you know? I've gone out there. I measured the tire marks. Stephanie says questions of this case have prevented her from grieving over her husband. Arizona's family did reach out to DPS about this case. They told us the investigation is ongoing and they don't comment when cases are still being investigated. And again, Alan leaves behind four kids. Tonight, a GoFundMe page has been set up to help them. In the newsroom tonight, Ryan Sims, Arizona's family.